We're at Mobile World Congress 2023 in Barcelona, and I'm talking with Samir Mawaha, who is Chief Solutions Officer at Sandvine. So, Samir, great to see you. Thanks very much for joining us today. So, Sandvine has rebranded as the App QOE company. What is App QOE, and why is it important now? Yeah, Ray, um, just to give you a little bit of context, we have a strong asset called Global Internet Phenomena Report. It's a marketing asset. We do it as a goodwill for the industry and our customers. But what it enables us to do is get a, a head start on the trends that are happening globally and regionally on application usage. What are the top apps that subscribers are using across the globe? And we take that and actually convert it into our strategic investments in our portfolio and help our customers. But our job is really to help our customers deliver the best application experience to the end subscribers. And when we look at those trends and we're seeing that what happened during the COVID years is what we call App Storm, because now there's over 6 million applications just in App Store and Google Play Store. And that was just inconceivable just a few years ago. And you, you look at the, um, what exactly is happening globally, and there's three trends that come out related to apps. The app volume, the app complexity, and app encryption are all going through the roof. And you correlate that with you and I using our apps on our devices and what we perceive our service provider as. And we look at our service provider through the lens of experience we're having when we're immersed in our favorite apps five to 10 hours a day. And what we're seeing is because of encryption, the internet is going dark, which means that our service provider customers have no visibility on applications that their subscribers are using. And at the same time, the subscriber expectations are very high. So when we, um, what we pivoted ourselves and we use our technology that comes from 20 years ago, the deep packet inspection technology, we had pivoted to network intelligence market, solving our customers' problems as it related to analytics, optimization, and monetization. And now what we're seeing in COVID years and post-COVID uh, normalization is this app storm. And that's why we knew that our customers needed help in looking at applications, uh, looking at QOE of those applications as subscribers use them. So we pivoted ourselves to being an app QOE company. And why is there such a strong focus on good data in your app QOE approach? Yeah, we believe that um, the better uh, data results in better business outcomes. And our customers rely or need this data to be able to take some business actions. To give you an example, our current systems they have, which is giving them some ability to look at applications, are about 40 to 60% accurate. What we're so heavily focused on is to give them over 95% recognition rate of all applications going through their networks. And if it's that accurate, then they can actually rely on that data because today that data is very noisy. And you look at their backend processes, whether it's operations, customer care, planning, and they cannot use this noisy data to make those critical decisions. Right. So that's why we emphasize so much and we put so much emphasis on um, looking at the exact recognition of the applications. And as I mentioned, the applications have gone complex. So within the same flow, you could have an application that has messaging, voice, uh, video, uh, data. You look at Uber, it's got you know payments, it's got maps, it's got chat with the driver, and all going through the same flow. So we are able to look at the content categorization uh, within that same flow so our customers know that not, not only this is Uber, but this is Uber Payments or right. this is Uber Chat. And they need that level of granularity so they can provide the right experience to the end user. Uh, and that's why we focus so much on, on the data uh, and we call it, we have to have best data so our customers can make best decisions. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Um, so what differentiates Sandvine's app QOE approach from others in the market? Yeah, uh, Ray, there's a strong differentiation uh, from Sandvine in what we call each layer of our architecture. And the first difference is really about the best data. It's about the uh, recognition of applications at over 95% accuracy 
versus what our customers have today, which is 40 to 60% accuracy. And if the data is that noisy, we really can't do much with it. So the first thing is the best data that we discussed. And then it's about the business processes, which is, hey, um, how do you take this information, the recognition rate, and apply it to my network on an ongoing basis? So we proactively look at over 100 apps that consume the most eyeball time and make sure that they're recognized and then allow the capability to our customers to update their networks on a weekly basis. So it sounds like you're hitting a lot of the right notes for the operators now, Samir. So great to hear what Sandvine's doing and look forward to chatting again in the future. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. It's a pleasure.